I have two girls who are 11 and 13. And actually, I was diagnosed right around their birthdays. And you know, I told them I will be the same person. I might be sick for a while. I might need rest. I might need more help from you. But you know, you still have to do your homework, and you still have to clean your room, and all those things. And I think that our approach of trying to, rather than make our life revolve around cancer, um, we just kind of had it become, you know part of the routine and not let it take over everything and kind of kept some of the drama out of it. I had a friend um, or someone close to me uh, that was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, I would tell him to really try to be positive and to have a really good attitude and um, try to really carry on with life um, as normal as you can. Uh, you just know, no, and that, and that's what life is about. You don't know what's going to happen the next day, and that's kind of what I think the breast cancer meant. That it was like life itself. You know, you just don't know what's going to happen. I mean, and you just have to hope for the best. I'll never forget all the help that I received um, from all the hospital staff. You know, they're very special to me, and they not only saved my life, but they made me, I think, a better person. I mean, I'll never forget all the help that I, that I received uh, throughout the, this ordeal. I never thought that so many people would be so wonderful and helpful. Being diagnosed with breast cancer makes you realize that life is so valuable, it's so short, and you focus on the important things of life. You focus on your family. You focus on the time that you spend with them. You don't, you get rid of all the clutter. You get rid of all the things that don't matter. And when things come up after being diagnosed with a life-threatening disease, and it's not important, you just let it go. You just focus on what's, what, what you value.